Want to effortlessly sell your digital products and grow your audience revenue without complicated setups? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to integrate Stripe with MailerLite to start selling your products seamlessly. Let's start in your MailerLite dashboard and then head over to the integrations page in the left sidebar. Scroll down until you find Stripe, then hit use. Then under status, you'll see a button that says connect with Stripe. And this is going to either let you link an existing Stripe account or create a new one. Once you've connected your Stripe account, we need to head over to your Stripe dashboard. In your Stripe dashboard, we're going to navigate to Product Catalog on the left sidebar. From there, we'll hit Create Product. And then you're going to enter your product name, description, and upload an image. You can choose between recurring or one-off payments. Then set your pricing, just remember that it needs to be at least 50 cents. Now let's go back to your MailerLite dashboard. Adding products into a landing page or a website builder work slightly differently, but let's start with landing pages. To get to the landing page builder, head over to Sites, and then you can either create a new site or select one that you've already created. Let's go ahead and create a site. Make sure that you have landing page selected and then hit save and continue. Go ahead and select your subscriber group. And then if you want more information on how to create a landing page, make sure you check out this video in the description below. For now, we are going to get started from a template. Let's go ahead and do a digital product template. On the left sidebar, navigate to elements. Then in the special category, find the product block, and then simply drag it into where you'd like your product to be. Once you do that, you'll notice a right sidebar open up. Click add products from your store. If you have multiple stores connected to your MailerLite account, click into the dropdown and then select Stripe. From there, we're going to select the product that we just created. Then select add product, and then you can see that it's been added to your landing page. Now, this is all well and good, but how is it going to be delivered to your customer? Click on the product label in the right sidebar. This will bring up options for product view and success view. In the download URL field, insert the URL where you have your product hosted. Under action after checkout, you can either add to group, remove from group, or update a custom field. We're gonna select add to group, and then demo group. Next, we'll edit the success view. This is what customers will see when they complete the checkout process. You may want to edit the layout. You can see here that we have it set to vertical for position. You can change it to horizontal or vertical. You can have the image set to left, top, or right. We'll leave it set to left. And then content can either be center, left, or right. We'll go ahead and move the text to the center to align with these, these two here. And then if you want to edit the text afterwards, you can either leave it at thank you or simply edit it however you would in any normal text editor. One difference will be if your Stripe product has recurring billing. In the right sidebar under your product view, you'll notice that action after cancel appears beneath action after checkout. This will give you a similar set of options. So again, for action after checkout, you would set add to group. Interest group might be something like demo group. But then what happens if they cancel their subscription? So action after cancel will define what, that, what happens when they do that. So you can select remove from group. So if you have your recurring product set to deliver to your demo group month after month, once they cancel, this will remove them from the group and therefore they will be removed from the group that is getting that recurring product. So make sure you select the correct group to remove them from. And there you have it. When you're done customizing your landing page, you can hit done editing. When your customers purchase a product, subscribe to a service, or cancel their subscription, they'll automatically be sent an email confirming that action. To edit these emails, Click over to the Stripe tab from your landing page overview window. Click over to the Digital Product tab. From there, you can see the Stripe Emails section with tabs for analytics, 
digital product, subscription created, and subscription canceled. You'll see a preview of the email. Clicking on the edit button will take you over to the drag and drop builder where you can customize the look and feel of this email. So if you wanna change the logo, simply click into the block, click change in the right sidebar, and then select from a logo in your file manager, or of course you can upload a new file as well. For more on how to use our drag and drop editor, check out the video in the description. Once you're done, hit done editing. Now, to add products to your campaigns, we'll head over to the drag and drop editor for campaigns. From your dashboard, select campaigns, and then you can either edit a campaign that you've already created, or you can create a new one. For now, we'll edit a campaign that we've already created. In the drag and drop editor, on the left sidebar, navigate down to the e-commerce section, and then drag in the products block at the top. Click into the block, and then on the right sidebar, select add products from your store. Again, if you have multiple stores connected, then select the drop down, and then select stripe, and then you'll select the product that you want to add. Click into the product block, and then you'll see that a download URL is required if you haven't provided one. Click into the edit button over your product in the right sidebar. Again, as with the landing page, you'll enter the download URL where your product is hosted. And then again, just like with the landing page, in action after checkout, you can add to group, select the group. And then under success view, if you want to edit the text or the thank you message, you'll have to do that in this box right underneath success message. Once you're done, hit save changes. Continue designing your email however you'd like. When you're finished, you can select done editing. And that's it. If you followed along, then you have successfully connected Stripe with MailerLite, created products and added them to both a landing page and an email campaign. And now, you've got another tool in your toolbox to help grow product sales with MailerLite. If this video helped, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more of the best tips in email and digital marketing.